to Andy and Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. Dave Cackley's over there playing hurt today, I understand. Yeah. What happened? Strained a, strained a pec. Oh. Strained my left pec lifting weights this morning. Doing so, what? Lifting, oh, lifting weights? Lifting oh, weights, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. That was, just, that was just my way to brag about the fact that I lift weights and I got hurt. Yeah. What time, what time man, of the day was so this? Like, uh, about 3.30 this morning. 3.30 this morning, you're lifting weights, yeah. huh? Okay. Yeah, well, I do. And were other people sleeping in the house? <laughs> Shut up. Why do you that's be not a jerk? inconvenient at all. Why do you got to be a jerk? I'm just asking. Yeah, I'm a man. I mean, I'm who trying knows? To stay, I'm, trying to st- I'm trying to stay healthy. I'm yeah, trying too. to, you know, live my life. Right. And uh, I'm happy for you. you got to go that's... take a big old dump all over it. I'm not dumping on anything. Why do you perceive it that way? Yeah. I, just, I, I know you because I know your you. I know your ways. I think that's awesome. I know uh-huh. that if I were sound asleep and somebody was lifting weights in my house at three thirty in the morning, I know my reaction would be to get out and cheer them on uh-huh. with a Louisville slugger. But so, mm. ugh, ugh, mm. Ugh, I gotta max out, man. I gotta be buff. No. Yeah, no, I, I'm. I am actually. I'm actually a very quiet when I lift. Oh, uh, that's good. You can't hear anything. So hey, it's show and tell day. A mouse. Go ahead. Yeah. Excited. What are you showing? What are you showing? Are you what are you telling? Yes. Well, I'm going to tell first. I have always had an affinity for uh, a certain hat. Okay. All right. And I've are always thought like it was a, a very good looking hat. I, I what? Fedora? No, I got one of those too, but that's upstairs. Um, okay. I always thought it was a very good looking hat. I love the symbolism of the hat, and I love what the hat really was. It stood okay. for. And the other day, okay. I vocalized the hat. And I said, I really like it, but I don't want one because it's just too expensive. Mm-hmm. But guess what? I cannot wait. This is where the trophy wife steps in. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Take a look here. She got me a Detroit Stars hat. Oh. Remember the Detroit Stars? Yeah. From Negro League okay. Baseball? Yeah, that's kind of Love cool. everything about it. I think it's a sharp hat. Yeah. I think it's a great logo. I think yeah, th- uh, the yeah. symbolism that it's it carries, cool. I think, is awesome. And yes. I wouldn't have bought it for myself, but she hunted one down for me and got me one. Yeah, it just it, it threw me. I did not think it was going to be a baseball hat. I just no? didn't think that's what you were no. doing. I did. I, I just, I really I dig it. Like, and it's, okay, it's something cool. I wouldn't have probably got for myself because of the cost, but she, she, right. she got me one. So. Yeah, I do. You know, I do like the, I like that red star in the middle. I think that's yeah, great. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Negro League, if you go, if you look back, they had some cool unis. Whenever that oh, Major League uniforms, Baseball. Um, when I, Go ahead. <laughs> it's one of those things. So whenever you, Major League Baseball does that throwback, and they'll have, and they'll, but they'll do the throwback Negro League, yeah, uh, unis. Uh, it, it almost makes you forget how racist baseball was for like ninety. It was years. terrible. Uh, but you know, they got over it. They did. They got past it. They moved on. Yep. And, and now it is what it is. Very cool. There you go. So yeah, I got that now, and I have to find a place down here somewhere for it. I'll always admire well, that nice. hat. Good so. Food. Someday, Fantastic. Dave, when you get yourself a trophy wife, uh-huh. maybe you'll get those things too. How about a trophy mistress? Ooh, no. Nah, well, you don't want that. You can't have one taking uh, a wife. Yeah, that's right. No, no. You can have a mistress who's not. You don't have to nah, have no, a you wife can't, really. a mistress. Got to have do you, a wife no, first. Do you have to? Yeah. Do you, seriously, I don't know because because you can have an affair with somebody without it being, uh, without either one of you being in a relationship with somebody else. You understand that, right? I learned that from the I learned that from the movie Big, when um, uh, Elizabeth Perkins was asking the Tom Hanks character whether or not, well, is this an affair, or is you know, didn't know what it was. But, but she neither thought one he of was them married. Were. No, she did not think he was married. She did not think Tom Hanks was married. No. At one point, she did in the movie. No, she. Well, yeah, when he said he had this big reveal. But you know, we're we're we're. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Yeah, you the are. bottom line is. Bottom line is, I think you can have a mistress without having a wife. I don't no, think you need to have, have a wife. Because have have I can't, I can't be pro mistress if you if you have a wife because that's adultery, and you know. Well, where, where did all this come from? Ones. I'm talking about a baseball hat here. Well, yeah. Then you talked about a trophy wife. Then you said I needed to get a trophy you wife. Do. And I said, how about a trophy mistress? And you that said, well, you work. have to have a wife to have a mistress. You that's do. how we got here. Well, do, uh, that's get, how we get to here. your news. You're confusing me. Okay. <laughs> Give me a headache. Well, I'm just letting you know how we got to that point. All right, fine. All right, uh, good. Another, sto- another storm is poised to hit Puerto Rico, a tropical storm, Dorian. Odd name for a tropical storm, but yeah. it's expected to make landfall later on this afternoon when it may be upgraded to a hurricane. Of course, thousands died in the wake of Hurricane Maria 
back in 2017. I just don't, I don't want to be anywhere where there could be hurricanes. That's why I don't really have any I, I don't have any urge to ever go to Florida again. It's just like because you never know. I know you know you never know when a hurricane's going to hit. I mean, I guess you do because they say like weeks out, but still. You don't have any urge to move out of your mom's house. Why would I have any urge to go to anywhere? Go to Florida. <laughs> you know. I'm just saying. You understand. The I do situation. understand. I get it. I'm helping family out. I'm yep, doing a lot I of do. different things. I'm raising a boy into a man. And then you just got to go put me in this. Driving You're like a 91 this guy Grand Marquis, living at it's your mom's. 2001. It's Buy your clothes at Goodwill. Yeah, I get it. Uh, I, no, dude, I get it. Closet. Frugal. <laughs> yes. Frugality is uh, <laughs> I, a borderline virtue. If it's not a virtue, I have to look it up. Okay. We well, do that. Sure. Anyway, by all means, moving stay on. Out of Florida. Moving on, a social media hashtag has gone viral, calling for a boycott of the Olive Garden. The reason: baseless rumors that the brand had donated to President Trump's 2020 reelection campaign. Oh Olive Garden has since uh, declared it does not donate to any presidential candidates. Uh, of course, McDonald's, Pizza Hut, KFC, IHOP, Wendy's, Chick Fil A, Waffle House, In and Out, all faced. Similar accusations. Who cares? Who cares what somebody where somebody donates? I don't care. You know what? Who you're? I have. I don't care at all. Yeah. I took I took Max to McDonald's yesterday. I had a quarter pounder for the first time. It was delicious. Okay. Don't. We're not going to get into that. Let's get back into. No, what I know. We were I know we're not going to get into it. Do you have an have issue? One. Do you have an issue with somebody donating to a political candidate? I don't care. Is that going to okay. affect where you go eat? I will say this. I I saw a picture the other day, and I haven't looked it up yet to find out if it's true or not, but I'm going to. And I'm not okay. going to mention any names yet because I don't want to spread rumors. I'm not that way. But okay. a certain sandwich franchise had a picture of their CEO out there, and he just gunned down an elephant. Now, to I me, don't care. I'm not going to buy his sandwiches anymore if that's the case. Because he shot it. an elephant. I okay. Was he punch? Was it was it elephant hunting season somewhere? Was this another country where that's acceptable? I'm not it, pro to, elephant hunting. You know I'm not it, pro it's, killing. It's just not acceptable to me, and it's it's too bad because if I, I had really kind of come along to like the sandwiches at this particular establishment, and, and you, and, you heard and a rumor out, that I, this, I, you know what? I don't think a big game hunter is is doing anything beneficial. Well, I don't have an issue with big game hunting at all. Okay, um, but that's me. I don't, I don't have an issue with do. it either. I mean, I understand hunting. I understand conservation. Yeah. I'm not anti-hunting at all. But mm -hmm. there's a you know, if you're if you're shooting deer to fill your freezer, that's one thing. If you're out trophy hunting elephants just to see you killed an elephant, no, you know, I, I, they don't care for it. Here's here's the problem with all these boy. I, I just I'm anti boycott. First of all, I don't of like course. boycotts in general. But you think you're hurting these CEOs. You think you're hurting these rich guys. It's all its all this anti-rich guy thing. Oh, well, let's boycott them so the rich guys lose money. That's not who gets hurt. Employees get hurt. Yeah. People who work for these companies get hurt. The CEOs don't get hurt. Your boycotts don't do shit, so stop it and stop demonizing people for supporting some candidate they happen to agree with. Does it, does it shock anybody that, that – uh, uh, corporations and companies might tend to vote a certain way or that somebody else may vote another way. Stop with it. Stop demonizing people for who they choose to vote for. I'm so sick of that. Okay. It's hot garbage. It's dumb. And it makes you less of a person. So stop. Okay. Anyway. Thank you, Dave, for that great on. lecture. Yeah, you're welcome. Gas prices may predictably inch up a bit as we move closer to Labor Day weekend. Average prices still around 260 now. They're saying across Mich Muskegon, all West Michigan, gas prices are going to be lower this Labor Day weekend than they've been in three years. So, um, that, so, so you, it's basically they're giving away free gas on Labor Day. Wow. Is what is what is what, what I read that. What to a me. way to wrap up the summer. You know, you, you know, it's like you get cheap gas. You know, we may be <laughs> sliding into a recession, but hey, gas is cheap. There you go. All right, sports. Cubs win, Cubs win, Cubs win. They beat the Mets, and congratulations to the Detroit Tigers. They lose to Cleveland 10-1, to their 90th loss on the season. Got away Bless from Bless you, boys. Bless <laughs> you, boys. But, hey, that, that hat is cool. Kudos on the hat. I like the hat. That's way better than the Tiger season. That's good. That was good. <laughs> anyway, 
That's sports. Have yourself a great, uh, what are we having here, Wednesday. It's Wednesday, man. Talk to you back here tomorrow. See ya.